example, now you have Hodgkin's and non-Hodgkin's. So non-Hodgkin's, these are extremes of age, okay? So yun sobrang bata, tsaka sobrang matanda, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And you have your Hodgkin's lymphoma, yun, lalaki talaga ng mga bukol na yun. Well, if you talk about non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, they have a favorable, ano po, um, treatment. And uh, for me, the ones that I use for lymphoma is, of course, uh, megadose vitamin C. Yeah. Always, and this is one of the mainstay of my of my treatment. Mm -hmm. And also Boston C, you know, that, that's my, yeah, sandali. <clears throat> These are the mainstay of my treatment. Now, if you do not have any money, uh, the ones that can really help you is guyabano, ginger, garlic, ayan. Lalo na yung garlic, ano, meron talagang, meron okay. talagang, anti-cancer property yan, okay? So, uh, th that's one actually of the best anti-cancer uh, herb that you can take. Ano ba yung lymphoma? Meron dalawang klase yan eh. You have your Hodgkin's, diba? Tsaka non-Hodgkin's, diba? Pag medyo matanda ka na, usually that's the non-Hodgkin's. That's in between you have the Hodgkin's. So, non-Hodgkin's, I have a high um, rate as well when I was in film. Maganda rin yan sa akin. Ang pinakamaganda dyan sa, sa cancer, it's you have a mega dose of vitamin C. So, around 20 grams to 100 grams. Yun lang, magtatay ka lang. Okay? Lymphoma. Okay? And then, guyabano leaves. Okay? Yun yung mga herbal medication for uh, this type of illnesses. Ano? For lymphoma, Doc, Ricky Russell case, Kasi, yan. So again, I already told some of the people that some types of lymphoma, leukemia, they are associated with uh, magnesium deficiency. So unang-una, kailangan kumain ka ng mga foods that are rich in magnesium. And these foods that are rich in magnesium, they're usually green leafy vegetables, yung kulay uh, berde. Okay? Because they're one of the component of the chlorophyll. So, chlorophyll sa halaman po yan. That's how, that's how they make their food. So, it's because of the magnesium. So, you eat foods that are rich in magnesium. For the herbal plants, of course, you can use chichirica. So, this chichirica or vinca alkaloids, vinca plants, vinca rose, they are actually um, the, the chemo drugs that they are using uh, right now, they got it from that plant. Uh, so, yung periwinkle. So, pwede mong kunin yun all plants or parts. All parts, you can boil it, drink it, three to four times a day. Also, you can try Boston C, Mega Dose Vitamin C, and Pixie Dust. They can, they can help you. Okay? So, next day. Lymphoma, in literature, it says that it's lymphoma leukemia. In literature, it says it's a form of magnesium deficiency. So, but in other literature as well, as well, it tells you as, about an exposure, an exposure to benzene. So, the best thing that you can do is that uh, you change the lifestyle. So, do not put paints, or if you have paints, you know, because benzene are found, benzenes are found in paints. So. Also, when it comes to your nail polish, don't do that. And also, you can use pixie dust again because magnesium deficiency is associated with the lymphoma and the leukemia. So just give him a lot of magnesium. Now, uh, fortunately, if you are eating foods that are rich in fiber, okay, which are seen in green leafy vegetables, so you are also eating foods that are rich in magnesium. Okay. But the problem with fruits, with vegetables, because what we do is that we overcook them. Okay, that's not how you eat vegetables. Actually, uh, it is in some literature, it says that if you just, even if you steam it, it actually just removes, not removes, but deteriorates the plant itself. So it's better if you can eat them raw. That's better. Yes, and if it's organic. Hi po, Doc. So, Hodgkin's lymphoma po. Again, I already tackled this. The best is chichirica tea. Okay, periwinkle. That's in English. You uh, brew them and then you drink three to four times a day. It's also good for hypertension and for cough, uh, periwinkle, and mega dose vitamin C. Also, Boston C, if you can afford Boston C, it's good for you. That's my dad's invention and now it's my formulation. Quick